Hey everyone, I'm Jennifer from Gen W Arts, and in today's video, I'm going a bit more in depth with the Arteza colored pencils. I've already tried them before in a, a small test piece, but I wanted to make a bigger piece with them just to see how well they would work. Um, so yeah, let's get to it. As I mentioned, I already quickly tried these pencils out in an older video, so I won't go over the contents of the tin in this one. So if you would like to watch the other video, I have put a link to it in the video's description. So the reason I was going to do this video is because I wanted to see how good these low price pencils actually are by putting them to the test on quality paper on a larger format and with a more detailed subject. So here we go! This time I decided to work on a piece of Fabriano Artistico hot press watercolor paper which I typically like to use for colored pencils because of its fine texture and it worked great with liquid blending mediums such as zested solvents. As usual I start with the background first and start by applying the first light layers of colors and blend these out with zested solvent. The Arteza Expert pencils lay down creamy and vibrant colors. I remembered how amazed I was with how pigmented these pencils were for what they actually cost, which was around the 14 49 pound for the set of 48. And again, on this paper they lay down very pigmented colors. When I first tried them, I used them on the Arteza sketchbook paper, which wasn't suitable for wet media. So I couldn't try out back then how they would behave when blended with a solvent. Another reason why I wanted to try them out again on watercolor paper. And again, I was not disappointed. They blended very well with the zested solvent and I was able to smoothen strokes out this way. Especially after a few more layers with more pigments on the paper. As you can see the colors look quite vivid and I got some real good and smooth color transitions between the different blue hues and between the green and blue colors in the background after a couple of layers. But I did get some wax bloom at some point. Not a big deal as you can remove that easily but it is inconvenient. But it's not uncommon to happen with wax based color pencils especially when there is a lot of wax in the core of the pencil. Also, I found a lot of the blue colors are not very light fast. I had not worked on the piece for a week or so and left it on my desk. When I returned to it, I found some of the blues in the background had faded, so I had to go over them again to get the vibrancy back. The pencils do have a light fastness rating, as in 1, 2 and 3 stars, with one being the best and three stars being the worst. When in doubt, check what the rating is on the white, black and some earth tone pencils. Usually they have the highest light fastness ratings. And as you can see, the blues and most of the greens I used of the set have two or three stars. So when working with these pencils, keep in mind that you have to protect your work from UV light by either framing them under UV glass or by storing them in a dark place, even when you're working on it still. But still, for 16 euros for 48 pencils, you cannot expect a light fastness rating that will blow your socks off or anything. So as for the layering and the blendability, they do perform really well. I find these a lot less frustrating to work with than the Prismacolor Premiers, which I find hard to blend and way too crumbly. But that's just my experience. The only real complaint I have on this particular set is that there isn't much balance in hues. Most of the 48 colors are mid-tones with a couple of darker colors and no pastel colors at all. Just a white pencil. So I had to improvise to get my lighter colors by mixing in the white a lot. I did have some trouble getting good contrast because of that, but I did get it to work in the end. It was just a bit of a hassle. On a side note, the white pencil was pretty good though. 
as it was a lot more opaque than I thought it would be. So personally, I would have preferred if the hues were a bit more balanced out, or at least would have a, a couple more of the lighter pastel-like colors in the set. When I finally got to work on the lemur and her twins, I could finally put to the test how well these pencils would hold their sharp point and find out how detailed I could get with them, as these animals have quite a detailed and woolly fur texture. I started out by blocking in a light layer of a warm grey color with a very light layer of blue to give the fur a cool undertone. Then blend these first layers out with zested solvent. Once the solvent is dry, I start by laying down all the shadows and fur textures with a dark blue indigo-like color. Then I added some layers of orange on her back and where the crown is at on her head. Though not too much, as females have a much less apparent crown than the male versions of the crowned lemurs. Then again I blend everything with zested solvent. Afterwards I deepen the darkest shadows with a sepia color, followed by an ultramarine blue like color. Especially around her neck so that her little head will stand out a lot more. I pretty much followed the same steps for the rest of the body. Just adding the first layers and blend these out, then mapping out all the shadows and textures and then keep on adding layers of color until I got the desired vividness and color saturation. Up till now the pencils still work very nicely, but then it was time for the final test of how well I could detail work with them. The pencils can be sharpened quite sharp and held their point quite well without leaving too much crumbs and best of all, they did not break on me either. Also, because the lead isn't too soft, it, I didn't have to sharpen them too often. Drawing the fine details of the fur went a lot better than I expected. I was able to get some pretty fine hairs in there with a sharp pencil, to create some extra textures and to give the fur a soft look. Right here you can really see how sharp I could draw in these tiny little hairs with this sepia color. So my first impression of these pencils when I drew that small fish portrait was very positive. And now that I have really put them to the test this second time, I'm still very amazed at how great these pencils are for what they actually cost. Also for transparency, I was not sponsored or anything by Arteza for this video. So I'm just giving my honest opinion about my experience with these pencils on this piece. They are by all means not perfect, as they can create wax bloom if you layer too much and they certainly are not very light fast. But other than that, they pretty much give you a quality coloring experience, almost as good an experience as expensive brands can give you. So in my opinion, these pencils are great for beginners or enthusiasts which might not have a big budget to invest in more expensive brands. Would I recommend them? Oh yes, especially for beginners as they give you a very good idea how it feels to work with expensive high quality pencils, no matter if you want to make a very detailed artwork or if you just want to color in a coloring book. I have yet to find a cheap coloring pencil that performs just as well. So to these people, I would definitely recommend these. However, if you want to sell your artwork or want to frame them and have a larger budget to spend, then there are better brands out there which are more archival. Me personally wouldn't want to use them on sales pieces such as commissions, but I do like to use them in my sketchbooks and they are great for illustrations that are meant for reproducing. So we are almost hitting the end of the video. I hope it was helpful and could give you a bit of insight to these color pencils. If it did, leave me a like and feel free to leave a comment in the comment section if you have any suggestions for future videos or if you just want to talk. I always enjoy reading through them. Also, I created a free to use coloring page over at my Facebook page, so I'll put a link to that below this video. As in these uncertain and difficult days, we have to find ways to entertain ourselves a bit. Um, 
So please subscribe and hit the bell icon if you don't want to miss out on any of my future videos. Thank you all for watching again and please, please stay safe and at home. And hopefully I'll see you back in the next one.